Speed and automation are the key factors for laboratories that perform various tests and want to improve and simplify analytical processes. Thermo Scientific Gallery, a discrete photometric analyzer, is fully automated and conveniently sized, offering excellent analytical performance for water, soil, food and beverage determinations. Gallery's high level of automation means that it is easy to operate. Its self-guiding user interface is easy to learn, making information management simple. The analyzer is able to reach very low detection levels, and its sophisticated dilution features help to manage a wide concentration range without user intervention. Results are ready within minutes, translating to remarkable savings in hands-on time. Gallery is fully self-contained and does not require external water or drainage connections. We are visiting the Institute for Environmental Research, Ambiotica, which is located in Finland in the facilities of Uvascula University. The range of work done by Ambiotica consists of chemical testing of environmental samples and sampling in limnological and hydrobiological studies. The activities of the laboratory include water analysis, inorganic and organic environmental analysis, and biological analysis. The range of sample matrices include water and solid samples, for example, plant, soil, waste, and sludge. Analytes which are measured from water samples by automated discrete analyzers are phosphates, nitrates, silicates, total phosphorus, total nitrogen, and ammonium nitrogen. 15 to 20,000 tests are done yearly. Daily, this means some dozens of tests. Before automation, the work was done manually or with another type of analyzer, explains laboratory manager Alan Wittig. What benefits do you see from automation? Automation allows users to concentrate on more interesting tasks. Results are reliable and testing is more cost-effective than with the traditional methods. Samples, reagents and consumables can be loaded to the gallery at any time without interrupting analysis in progress. Ready-to-use system reagents eliminate time-consuming reagent preparation, allowing additional cost savings. Kit sizes and onboard stability are optimized and barcoded vials provide reliable and easy identification. What are typical concentration levels in water samples that you measure? In natural water samples, concentrations are very low, near detection limits. In wastewater samples, concentrations range a lot. Typically, samples require dilution. I see the laboratory's future to be the same kind as it has been for a while. The number of water tests analyzed is increasing, and we use more and more automated methods for determination.